did good, Strange. Just rest now. I'll attend contact with Nova Corps. Tell them to be ready when the Citadel shield drops. If the shield drops... This is it, people. Time to give Kang his fight. You were like the cutest thing ever. Could I maybe write you into my fanfic? I am Groot. I'm gonna take that as a yes. Thanks. You were saying? Cosmo has diverted most of Nowhere's primary energy through a series of sub-relay stations. When you get up there, reinstate the main singularity cell. The resulting Faraday effect will create a distortion field via the quantum emitter. Any questions? Oh, you know what? Just leave it to Stark. Where's Tony? Are we prepped? Oh, man, I can't wait to meet a talking dog. Okay, guys. You both ready? Nice suit. Thanks. I modified the main. Sorry, sorry, man. In rush. You okay? Ow. Let's just go prime the giant skull in the sky and face the cataclysmal forces of Kang outside. Yeesh. That thing's a lot uglier than I remember. Well, it's a big floating skull. It was never going to be winning any beauty. <laughs> in nowhere from who knows where was successful. Admittedly, Kang got wind of the plan at the last minute and tried to send a different head-shaped planet through the portal, but that didn't deter the heroes. Ahem. Despite certain naysayers around here, the good guys have found there was a use for nowhere. Finally, we can get rid of this bozo. This could be it. I can't believe I'm saying this. After all the mistakes they've made, but good luck, heroes. Yeah, even Spider-Man. Warfare on this scale fills one with such a thrill of the senses. Wouldn't you agree, Ravonna? Ah, no matter. She couldn't possibly comprehend the delicate intricacies of my master plan. As for the... Heroes. Let them come. Thanks, Captain Marvel. We're good to go here. Cosmo fired the EMP? Now! Okay, shields are down, Carol. Nova Squadron, light it up. ship it just wiped out the whole squadron tony yeah we saw everything kang must have teleported it in from outside of chronopolis i'm taking my team to intercept now okay quill we're coming up fast get ready to jump so where's the entrance we make one Guys, we're in. Let's head to the main bridge. Got it. What have we here? Some Avengers trying to stop my inevitable... Look at Marvel Super Heroes 2 walkthrough. We are at the second to last level. This is on board the sword. So that giant ship that King has is a giant sword. As we have seen before many times, I think, and it's actually kind of cool. We're finally on the sword ship, and I guess Kang just has a thing for Lego swords. And this is a somewhat okay level, I guess. Again, it kind of felt like they were really dragging the game on at this point, just to make sure that I hit 20 levels, but 
Anyway, it's a fun one, so we're gonna do a bunch of stuff inside of this ship. Most of the stuff is gonna take uh, place in the next room, or one of the next rooms that we're getting to, though. Then we get to fight a boss that is actually a pretty okay. interesting kind of boss, but... Uh, so here's gonna be sort of like this level that we had a couple of levels ago, where there's this big, like, cylindrical tube of glass that had these spinners on the inside, and you had to spin the ball down to the floor. And you had to do that twice in that section to get past that part. And that's kind of what this is like, except everything's going to take place on the floor there. I also had some very annoying experiences when it came to switching characters here. And you're going to see why that was in a second, which really, again, just kind of felt like they didn't plan this particular part out that well. I don't know. Uh, if we push this button over here to the left side, then nothing, uh, you know, you don't really achieve anything besides opening up that door and then a bunch of these enemies come and attack us, but that button does need to be pushed. So with these enemies that are attacking us, we've already experienced a few of them that can only be killed either with something like rockets, bombs, because they have silver plating on them, or in this case, uh, someone with lasers for us. Iron Man, so we can use his lasers to defeat some of those guys, and luckily as soon as you wear off their golden plate, then that's the end of them, that's all they need. There's also going to be these electric guys that are kind of scattered around this level, and there's I think there's only a temporary amount of these, you don't really have to worry about these guys respawning, but they are extremely aggravating because they will run away from you, and in fact they'll make a beeline for that button, and if they push that button you're going to have to deal with even more of those stupid enemies coming through that door. So try your best to shoot those guys if you can. I don't really know why they run away, because <laughs> they're like the only enemy in this game that runs away from you. Anyway, when you're done with them, come over here kind of to the right-ish side and use Iron Man's laser ability to cut through this golden wall. And if you've been kind of looking down in the floor there, there's a bunch of sliding places kind of in like a cross shape, and we're going to have to slide a... Uh, generator type of thing or power I don't really a plug I guess I'll just call it a plug we're gonna have to slide a plug down in the floor there and I'm not talking about that one that we just plugged in although we did have to do that too <laughs> I am really talking into the floor which we'll be heading to here in a second so once again during that cutscene I got very annoyingly picked up by this electric guy and once they do that to you once then their shield will go down so you just have to wait after that of course iron man can shoot things and that's pretty useful for him so i'm gonna wait for this guy to do the same thing if he wants to because you can't really hurt him so there we go then we're gonna switch on over to star lord because again he has a gun and uh break him open of course you have to you can also smash that button that uh, shows up on screen to break free if you want to do it that way but unfortunately i was too slow and the guy Got a few more of these enemies to be summoned, and these guys are just, they're just obnoxious because you can't kill them that easily, you have to waste your time holding the B button down. <laughs> I don't know, it's just, kill those guys when you can. So there's three or four of those electric guys kind of on the bottom floor, and then there's a few more above us. I thought I actually killed that guy too, I wonder if more came through. Oh, I don't know. Anyway, there's going to be a few more kind of here to the left side and a few more to the right side. So I think there's one more up here that we got to take out. And it's not necessary to get rid of them. Okay, I don't see one. Maybe not. Anyway, it's not necessary to get rid of them, but it is just kind of annoying when they're around you. Oh no, there is one. Okay, there he is. I remember this now. I was like, dang it. <laughs> I think I, I looked. Like, I looked enough and I thought he was gone. Looks like I, our Spider-Man can even shoot his webs out really quickly too, huh? I forgot about that. Anyway, so we'll use him to pull down those Legos and then switch on over to uh, Star-Lord here and we can use his gravity bomb to pull open the door on the right side. Now, you're gonna need someone who can activate computers in the next room that we're gonna be going into. And the one person you're gonna want for that, I think, is Spider-Man. And the reason this is gonna get really annoying quickly here, because after we activate that, okay, there's the second thing we need to turn on. The final thing is down in the floor. And the reason this is gonna get really annoying is because we're gonna get transported to a room that's actually separate from the rest of this place. So when you push Y to switch characters, you're randomly gonna be swapped to the character inside of this room. And you'll see pretty quickly, if, especially if you play this, why that can get really annoying, because sometimes you'll be trying to switch to a character up above you, and then it just rips you out of the room that you're in into this one, and then you have to switch it again. But we're going to want someone in here who can use computers, so Spider-Man appears to be one of the only guys. I think Iron Man can too, but Iron Man will be a little bit more useful out here. So use Spider-Man to come up here, you don't really have to... Uh, 
go onto that beam just because he can work his way up here with his spider webs and then you're going to want to switch to star lord and get star lord out of here because we're going to need star lord's gravity bomb yet again a little bit later i don't think i did that so i'm going to have to switch back to him and just kind of annoyingly uh come here warp him out and then walk the long way Anyway, this is going to tilt this giant spaceship, I guess, because I guess it's, it's not really in the space of a cross, is it? It's probably more of a sword. But we're going to want to move that box all the way to the left side by pushing that arrow. And you're going to want to remember that ability uh, here, because though we're going to be doing that a little bit later, too. So I decided to come out here as Spider-Man for some reason. I would not recommend doing that, as I said. Pick Star-Lord, keep Spider-Man there, because he's going to have to go back anyway. And then just jump on down here and destroy these Lego bricks that are kind of around this sword shape for these, uh, uh, whatever they're called for the tiles there. Now they look like the same kind of tiles that you can just push Lego bricks on, and you could, but everything you're going to be pushing is going to be locked in such a way that you actually won't be able to. So we might be able to do that with this one. Okay, no, we can't actually. What we're going to need to do next is head on back. I believe this is where we do it. We head on back to... Uh, oh, maybe not. What's this guy doing? This is a giant robot. Anyway, in a second here, we are going to have to go back. Oh, yes. Okay, I was right. We're going to have to go back to that room. And we're going to have to move that box that's to our left there, slam it all the way to the right side, because it's supposed to go up against that robot there. And then you're going to want to push it forward normally with a Lego guy. So this is where the switching thing kind of becomes annoying and I'm gonna cut this part out. I think I wander here for a little bit, but uh, if I, because I'm gonna stop talking here in a second just because we're pretty much at the end of the level. And then, oh yeah, I found that nice weird glitch. Uh, accidentally switched into another character. Oh wait, no, what am I saying? That wasn't a glitch. Holy moly, I'm just all kinds of wrong today. That wasn't a glitch. I switched out a Spider-Man suit, which you can do by holding the Y button. Which is not very useful because then you can't use his webs. But here's where the switching characters, that's where that got annoying. Okay, that's mostly why I kept that in. But that's really where that got really annoying. And then of course I tried to switch into iron, or I tried to switch here again. But when you push Y, sometimes you do that stupid hero combo, which I did with Iron Man. So that even aggravated me more. Because I'm like, let me switch to the correct hero. Let me switch and then stay him. Don't do that stupid move. And then, of course, to make matters worse, I get picked up by this stupid guy, and I can't remember if I killed him. Nope, looks like I just leave him there. I'm like, you know what? Forget it. You're not worth it. We come back down here. I guess that was why I kept it in. I wanted to show just kind of that annoyance when they assign more than one button, to the, more than one action to the same button in this event, pushing and holding Y to swap your outfit in the middle of a level, no less, and then Y is also the switch button, and the Y also makes you do the combo with someone else. That's three actions on one button again. Same with the B button. Even the A button in the overworld does like two things. I don't, why, why, why? <laughs> it's not necessary. All right, so finally, once we get all that sorted out, we can come on down here and uh, push that into the wall. And I thought we needed Star-Lord's Gravity Bomb again. I guess we don't. Uh, but either way, it's just a lot easier keeping Iron Man, or sorry, Spider-Man inside of that room because then you won't have to go through that pain that I went through trying to get him back there. Of course, to get him back outside, if you want to, you're gonna have to switch back to him again and then make him go through the portal. I think I got tired of dealing with ladders and just decided to switch on over here to Iron Man so I could fly over. And then we're going to use this laser on that golden, uh, Lego bricks there. And then this is going to kind of go through a couple of explosion events and then the satellite's going to break down and that door is going to open on our right side. And then we can fly in here and we're going to activate this terminal and we just rapidly mash the button that shows up on the screen that will put that big tube down and that's going to allow us to get to where we need to go into the boss room I think anyway I'm gonna check just to make sure because I'm already having a hard enough time <laughs> remembering exactly what I've done so far but uh, these guys are just in my way and there's also that flame guy on the outside and for some reason my laser didn't want to kill him well, that was nice, but switched on over to Star-Lord, who is already outside, defeated that guy because, my goodness, those flames are annoying. So then we're going to have to switch back to Spider-Man to actually open that up. So once again, I'm going to be running into that issue of switching characters, and I'm just mashing the Y button until it finally puts me into selfie mode. 
I have no idea what button I pushed to make that happen, but you can take selfies with LEGO characters inside this game. <laughs> Finally, I switch back to Spider-Man, but I can't actually use his web power when you're inside of his regular farm. You're gonna have to push and hold the Y button if you did what I did. You're gonna have to push and hold the Y button to get him back into his suit, which I'll do here in a second. Man, this level just did everything in its power to make sure I had a hard time. I don't know what the heck was wrong with this game right here. It really did not like me. Once that is finally open, we can jump into the tube, follow it, and then we will be at the boss for this level. Thank goodness. Along for the ride. Hey, the last thing I need is a raging Hulk. Right now, I need your spider senses and Star Lord's. Bravo! Bravo! I applaud your fortitude. Your tactics were audacious. Now, Hulk. Well, if we can't hurt him, he can't hurt us. No. But I can plummet this ship into the ground. Now, you must excuse me. I will leave you with a parting gift. Meet Korvac. If the crash doesn't obliterate you, he surely will. <laughs> ah, ah, not good. Ah, Korvac is one with the power cosmic. He's pretty much a god. Okay, now I wish I had a Hulk. And here we are with the boss, Korvac, inside of the level 4 on board the sword. So he's basically a Celestial, which I think one of them said at some point during the cutscene, or at least at the beginning of this video, and they I think they also said he's like basically a god or something or other, which made me wonder, are we actually going to defeat the guy? And yeah, we pretty much actually do defeat the guy, and it also made me wonder, is the guy actually hard? And no, the answer to that's really is not that hard at all. Uh, he can be annoying though, especially because the ship is being sent in all these different directions. And uh, when you're up on there, if he laser beams you, that's going to knock you back. And that's basically going to be all this boss does. He's just going to knock you back. Basically, you're going to want to switch to a hero who has guns and shoot him. But you can't very easily shoot him in the air, which I was trying to do there. Because every time you try to fly, he pushes you back down. So, uh, the most reliable way to shoot him is just to push and hold X and then aim at him with your bullets. And try to do that without getting killed. But this is truthfully extremely annoying and this ended up being one of the most annoying bosses in this game just because every time he shoots you it knocks you back and it also breaks what you're doing this would be another boss that's extremely easy on co-op because he'll be focused on one of you and not the other guy so unless he shoots two or two shots at both of you i guess but either way you probably want to take out some of the enemies if you can it's just trying to deal with his shots is really aggravating sometimes because like i said they're just going to interrupt you they just knock you back they interrupt your aiming you can't shoot when you get knocked back the best time to hit him is kind of when he's teleporting and temporarily when you switch characters he's actually going to be focused on the character you were last so that might give you just enough time to take out some of his health alternatively you can just sit in one place and just rapidly uh fire with the x button i think that's what does it if you just tap the x button you'll just rapidly fire all of your bullets at him and that's one way that you could take him out uh, if you can aim kind of in his general direction enough of the bullets should be able to hit him there now this guy's also going to this projection of kang is going to come around and uh, spin around the room and his only purpose seems to be kind of to just annoy you because you can't really do anything to him quite yet and he's gonna have that beam below him that if you go into that beam the spikes beneath him are going to suck you in and get you killed and also if you go too high in the air you're gonna get slammed down by the celestial guy so there's not really a whole lot that you can do there uh, but anyway, eventually he's going to be attackable, attackable again, and you're going to rinse and repeat that whole process. So that's pretty much going to be this boss fight. So he's a pretty lengthy boss fight, pretty much only because he's really freaking annoying. Uh, but other than that, he's not too difficult. Once you get him done, that will be it for the second to last level, and then I will see you in the next video, which will be the final level and also the final video for LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2.
Just crashed it, but if anyone asks, it was all us. Oh, 